And the other one, uh, this other topic, which we'll actually just get into to right away is, uh, all right, so in this next topic, I'm gonna do a general PSA on what to do with your current vehicle if you are selling it or trading it in to buy a Tesla. And really my PSA is do not, do not trade it into Tesla and to buy, when you're buying a vehicle, unless your state has some sort of you know function where you pay less sales tax on the newer vehicle. And then of course, then it would make sense. But at the end of the day, then I would still compare the numbers on versus trading in versus actually selling it. And so we'll talk about, we'll talk about what, you know, depending on the vehicle, it might make sense to sell it privately. And depending on other vehicles, it might actually sense to trade in or sell it to like a other type of dealer. And I'll give you that exact dealer on who or that exact website on who you can actually sell it to. But if you're just joining in, my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla hacking as it's called, but basically just getting the best behind Tesla at the best financing rate. So definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. And so let us get into it. So you just ordered your Tesla, congrats. Uh, you're probably waiting right now, just like as a bunch of people are, you're waiting for your EDD or your estimated delivery date for when you can actually pick up your Tesla. But let's say you've got a vehicle that you need to sell. And so the question is, what do you do? You probably got a quote from Tesla, themselves and they probably gave you a lower uh, lower uh, valuation on your vehicle. And so the question is, what do you do? Do you go to CarMax? I mean, I would say CarMax is a great type of avenue which you, uh, where you can sell your vehicle, but I've always recommended this website. So this is a website called Car Buyer USA. It's kind of like CarMax, but all online. You can actually put in the exact details of your vehicle and they will give you an offer right off the bat. So let's say hypothetically you're selling a older Tesla, like an older Tesla Model 3 that you can just put it in right here. You don't even have to actually put in your location or anything like that. You can just put in your mileage of the vehicle and you hit get offer and then it will give you a value right off the bat. This is a great website. They'll buy your vehicle from you from your driveway or even send you to a local location and they all tend to offer a pretty high price because they're just like a middleman in wholesale because they take your vehicle and sell it to another dealer. But the other better option than this, especially if you're in the SoCal area, the SoCal area they're there are a ton of mom and pop dealers all around. They're basically they're dealers that all they do is sell used cars. And I would just do a spend a day or maybe spend half a day and go to a couple of them around you. Go to the ones that have good reviews that seem to sell a lot of volume and see if you can get a good value from them because all they they because their business model is to buy vehicles off the street like yours and resell them at a different to a different customer. So I would try, try and say some of those. But the other third option is if your vehicle is within five to maybe even 15, even $20,000, I would say go on websites uh, like cars.com, auto trader, Facebook marketplace, and try and sell your vehicle, sell that vehicle yourself. Because if it's a vehicle that's five to $15,000, you're probably going to get offers that are cold hard cash which is the safest of course as long as you meet as meet at a bank and then you should be able to sell your vehicle relatively easy and very very quick because that's kind of the hottest car right now cars that are in that price range of five to fifteen thousand because everybody wants a newer car but of course they don't want to spend too much money on it so those are my quick tips and also my psa and do not sell your car or do not trade your car into tesla at least take a shot at least one of these other sites these other dealers or even Car Buyer USA, not sponsored by them, and see if you can get some extra value. Maybe even if it's just a thousand dollars or two thousand dollars more. But the thing is, like, if it's just a thousand, two thousand dollars more, don't spend too much time trying to sell the vehicle. I would say maybe try it for like a week or two, and then try and sell it to Car Buyer USA or even CarMax to try and get out of the vehicle. So hopefully that makes a lot of sense. You know, comment down below if you've done some of these processes. Or if you have a better strategy, definitely comment it down so, uh, so other people can um, take advantage. But we're going to jump into the live stream comments. But before we do that, this video is exposed on my Patreon link, 